I bought more first edition blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I bought more first edition blister packs, but first we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away this Pharaonic Guardian Lava Golem. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this package that I bought. There's some really cool stuff inside. So the guy I bought this from actually sent us a mini mystery box to make up for that terrible mystery box that we bought from eBay. So I'm gonna show you guys all the blister packs that I bought, and then we're gonna go into this mystery box. I don't know what is inside this thing. So first of all, we have some Strike of Neos first edition blister packs. They are a little warped but that tends to happen with older blister packs on this cardboard but they are still sealed so it's really cool so we have one of those two three four five six seven of those i think there's a couple more actually but there's seven right there strike of neos this is the only set you can get the air neos ultra rare and ultimate rare and that's it it's never been printed again so pretty cool awesome cover card there's also a lot of other good cards inside as well Strike of Neos is one of the only boxes I have not opened from GX or the original series too, so it's pretty cool. Then we got a couple of Force of the Breaker first edition blister packs. These are also 5Ds. They're very cool. Probably not as rare as the Strike of Neos, but they're still really cool. These are probably actually the cheapest blisters. Still awesome ones though. Cheapest of the ones I bought at least. Then we got another Legacy of Darkness. So I have a couple of these on the website, but this is actually an unlimited one rather than first edition. Then we got a couple of Magicians 4. So these are unlimited as well, but even unlimited Magicians 4s are pretty awesome and valuable. So pretty cool to get two of these. Unfortunately, you cannot pull the Hobby Secrets out of Blister. So for the Magicians 4s, you can't pull the Dark Magician Girl, which kind of stinks, but it's still a really cool item to have because Magicians 4s is so rare. Here are those other two Strike of Neos that I thought we had. Then here are some big ones. We have not one first edition invasion of chaos but six first edition invasion of chaos and as i mentioned with the magician's force you can't pull the dark magician girl there you can't pull the ced here but you can still pull the Blackluster Soldier, which is obviously a great one, and then the Dark Magician of Chaos. So there's still some good stuff, but you can't pull the Hobby Secret, unfortunately. But it's still really cool to see the original first edition, legit Konami-approved blisters, like not the third-party ones. But speaking of the third-party ones, five first edition third-party Invasion of Chaos. So not only that, you get three cards back there. That's the most interesting part to me, to be honest. Let's see. I wonder if you can see if they're Hobby or Retail. The cards might cover it up. So it would be on this back part right here where you would be able to tell. We are probably going to end up opening some of these third party ones. The other ones might be for sale on the website. I don't know how many of the actual legit ones I'm going to open, but I do love opening these third party ones. It's super fun. So these are almost definitely going to be open on the channel. The other ones, maybe, or they will be for sale on ruxin34.com. And that's all the blister packs that we got. There was also this bonus mystery box he sent. So let's check out the note he sent. I, I kind of peeked at it earlier to see what exactly this was. And then I was like, oh yeah, he sent us something. Hey, Ruxin, I think I speak for us all when I say it hurt to watch you open that walking L of a mystery box. That is true. By the way, I have an update about that thing. I actually opened a case on eBay and because it was so bad and I got a return. So that was awesome. We did not end up losing any money on that thing, which is great because that was like the worst mystery box I've ever seen. So I decided to throw one together for you as well. It certainly won't be worth $1,200. That is okay because we did get our money back. But hopefully you and the viewers will have some fun with it. That's what these boxes are supposed to be about, right? Keep up the awesome content. Looking forward to see you hit $100,000 and on thanks in seven Saren. so in seven Saren sent us this epic box plus this mystery box right here okay i have no idea what's in here but i'm pretty excited to be honest let's see what it could be imagine it's just like something from amazon <laughs> it's just amazon prime you know i don't care what it is it's gonna be fun to open we have a couple of things here which is nice a mini mystery box this is gonna be fun and we will open up any packs that come in here if there are any okay there's a lot of things here so let's start off with this we have ooh, the dual masters Oh yeah, we're gonna open this up for sure. Two dice and cards per pack. Dice, I love to see that. All right, let's start off with this thing. Yeah, let's see what dice we get. Dice and cards. Okay, so didn't we open a bunch of these one time? Actually, I think we opened a whole a whole bunch of these. I still see it up there. Dice Masters. Yeah, this is the same thing. So we get the dice and then you get the cards. The cards are always so warped. They were like that when I opened them too. Mystical Elf and the Injection Fairy Lily Rocket Attack. And you get the die form too. These are so awesome. I love these. Get the little fists, little shields. Very nice. Next we have, ooh, a Lost Art card. We have Celestia Lightsworn Angel. Okay. Always love to have a sealed Lost Art card. It is very cool. So that's, I mean, this is a good start of the mystery box. I'm already liking it more than the last one. <laughs> By the way, if you did not see that video, go check it out. It was a wild ride. Let me we go with this one next. Let's go with this. Ooh, I see what we got here. First edition Rise of Destiny 
Magic Ruler and Rise of Destiny. Okay, this is already a much better mystery box. Just these three packs right here make it better. That is awesome. So we are, as I said, we're going to open these up. Rise of Destiny, you guys know what I want from here. Dekoichi. Obviously, wait, are these hobby packs? I don't know what the number is off the top of my head, but obviously if we could get like the creator ultimate rare or something, we, we would take that. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Perfect Machine King. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, actually. We have a Lighten the Load. The load will be lightened. We got the Nightmare Penguin. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Spell purification. And... Ooh, Dark Blade the Dragonite. That's a cool rare. It definitely is a cool ultimate rare as well. Malice Dispersion and Inversion of Flames. Invasion of Flames and Inversion. This is already an epic mystery box. I'm hyped about this. Okay. And speaking of epicness, we are almost at 100,000. I think that we will be doing the live stream going to 100,000 probably Monday. And we're going to go live and we're going to stay live until we get to 100,000 subscribers. And then after that, Retro Pack 2 opening probably the next day, which is going to be incredible. Spell for your purification. Muddy God. And. Ooh, that's the Los, the Firestorm Monarch. We've got a super rare. This is one of my favorite super rares from the set. This is an absolutely awesome ultimate rare as well. Festalos. Everyone loves a good monarch. They are very cool. All right. This mystery box is killing it. Moki Moki King. Gotta love it. And Moki Moki Smackdown. You gotta love the Moki Moki cards. Finally, Magic Ruler. Original print. Unlimited. What could we pull? Relinquish? Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? I would take either one of them gladly. We have a Magical Labyrinth. The Dark Zebra. The Red Archery Girl. The Malevolent Nuzzler, and the UFO Turtle, regular rare. We got the Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods, number two, and Chorus of Sanctuary. Now, this is a card. Now, this is a clutch card right here. Chorus of Sanctuary. If you guys have seen Auction Series Episode 1, go check it out. Chorus of Sanctuary carried us hardcore. It was awesome. Okay, I feel like, what is this? This is some sort of blister, but it feels like there's, like, dice in it or something. I don't know what this is. I'm excited, though. I'm excited for what this could be. Oh, what in the world is this? What is this? Oh, look at this! Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Pin? Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is unbelievably cool. Should I open this and put this on my keychain? I already have Pot of Greed. I would show you guys. Wait, I have Pot of Greed. I got this from John at House of Champs. He gave me this when I was at his house. Do we add the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? It's kind of large, but look how awesome it is look how awesome it is oh my goodness i want i want to open this i know i should not open this but i legitimately want to use this as a keychain is it okay do i open yeah let's open it you know what let's do it. i'm doing the unthinkable i'm opening something you should never open but this looks too cool i am putting this on my keychain i don't know how long it'll last like if it's too big or not but i was like pot agreed i'll probably take it off after a while i have not even considered taking it off yet and it's been on there for when did i visit john like a few months ago like it's been it's been a while all right, we just destroyed something that should never be destroyed. Oh, oh, and it's like rubber too. Okay, it's a little sticky. That's okay. Maybe we maybe we can't use this. <laughs> it's a little sticky. All right, maybe that'll come off eventually. But oh, this oh, it's gluey. Yeah, it's definitely gluey. Oh, I want to use it so bad. Come on, get the glue off. Maybe I can like get it off. Yeah, it's just been in there for so long. And then we have the pin. Oh, this pin is sick. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Yu-Gi-Oh! That's straight up Yu-Gi-Oh right there. I used to not care about this stuff. Now I just I just love it. I just love it. It's so cool. All right, now that we're done geeking out about that, we have the Oh, here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh trivia. Oh. This is such a cool mystery box, man. He, he, by the way, this was like just for extra. Like I bought the other stuff and he's like I'm going to send you something else. And like all this extra stuff is like so cool. Like if people made real mystery boxes like this, you know, actual cool stuff. These ideas are really good, you know, some unique pins and stuff like that. It would be so fun. If you guys have seen when I took the Yu-Gi-Oh quiz and I got like a 7 out of 15, yeah, I, I kind of failed. This card dealt the winning blow in Yu-Gi's match against Pegasus. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, I know he summons Black Cluster Soldier in that duel. Was it Black Cluster Soldier? And it's Black Cluster Soldier the Ritual. I think it was that. L that's my guess. Wait. Oh. Oh, cool. You have to open it. Okay, I I'm going to go with Black Cluster Soldier the Ritual. Oh, you just flip it up. Oh, no, Dark Magician of Chaos. Ah, I got it mixed up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the other ritual. Magician of Black Chaos. They're the same card, but for some reason different. Magician of Black Chaos. I should have known that. I should have known that. I whiffed. We got to rewatch the show. I've been trying to get Chelsea to watch it, but 
I just can't get her to do it. This man put in so much effort for this, which is so cool. Yami Yugi uses this card to save Kaiba and their tag duel against Lumis and Umber. Oh, I'm, I'm going to fail this so bad. They're on the roof. I know that. I'm just going to show that I have watched the show. They're on the roof, dueling, tag duel against these guys. They summon the Mask Beast, Desk Guardius. They use all the Mask cards. Didn't he summon Obelisk against, against these guys? I have no idea. I accidentally punched the camera. I'm, I really can't think of anything. What iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card or Yugi card would he have used? I don't know. Let's just look. I, I think I just mi I just missed this one. It's a magic card. Multiply uses that on this one? I didn't know that. Okay, this is also a first edition copy from uh, Crimson Crisis, which is a, it's a sin that they waited that long to, put, to print this card. I didn't know that. So he actually used it against Kaiba and then he used it to save Kaiba. That's pretty cool. All right, we got a little hint up here. Merrick tributed this card along with Baby Dragon to summon Lava Golem in his duel against Joey. All right, well, Joey uses Gear Free the Iron Knight. He uses... I'm going to go with Gear Free. No, he summoned Gear Freed and then he passed out, so it couldn't be Gear Freed. Wow, I'm failing miserably. I got to rewatch this show. I don't know. Jinzo! Oh, he, summon... he did that to Jinzo. Also, a Gold Rare Jinzo. That's insane. My anime knowledge is failing. Gold! Very nice. All right, that's sick. I am going to get one by the end of this. That's... Okay. While dueling Weevil atop a moving train, Yami Yugi uses this card to win the match and continue to attack until stopped by Taya. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Yes, I know the iconic meme when he just keeps attacking him over and over. Yes, I got one. Also, he sent us an MFC Breaker. That's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. So now I'm what? One for four? Not so good. This trap card was used by Cyrus to win his match against Demetri, the King of Kai. Okay, GX, I have no chance. Trap card used by Cyrus. I have no idea what Cyrus used. I mean, I watched it like once. He used Cylinder, huh? I didn't know that, actually. All right, that, that, that'll that win you some games. We're back to the OG series. I got a chance. This was the one missing Exodia Lamb the Seeker needed to win his match against Yami Yugi before being shut down by Light Force Sword. Oh, what is it? Okay, it's a limb. It wasn't the head because head was, he hit that with Chain Destruction. I know that part. I thought that was going to be the question. I was like, I'm going to know this one, but no, now I have to guess. Left leg, that's what we're going with. Left arm, I was close, left. Okay, yeah, I thought it was a leg, but I was wrong. Left arm, okay, we missed the left arm. This is the most powerful monster in the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise. Is this a trick question? It has to be Exodia, right? It has to be Exodia, or is it just blue eyes? I mean, it has to be Exodia, but they showed Exodia right here, so I feel like that's uh, a little too obvious. It has to be Exodia. I'm gonna go with Exodia. Oh, Pekanyo Mob, yeah. This was an underappreciated one in the show, though. They didn't they didn't give it as enough, enough credit for what it really is. I love that. That was good. All right, so I miserably failed that quiz. I did get one right, though. I got one right. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Let me know in the comments how you did on the quiz. Did you know them all? Did you know half of them? Did you know none of them? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. And shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe Info Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.